Hello everybody, it is I, Big Al, once again. Uh, this is going to be kind of a quick video, um, no intro or anything. Uh, I'm actually getting ready to go to a Halloween party as of recording this video, so I'm going to try and get it quick. Um, there's been some new drama on the internet, and no, it's not Sniper Wolf. Uh, you, you've been, you guys have been probably wondering what I was thinking about that Sniper Wolf situation. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, I've been delving back and forth about whether or not to make a video about Sniper Wolf, but the problem is everything's been said about Sniper Wolf. Um, and I even waited out to see what would happen, and it just kept getting crazier and crazier and crazier. But uh, truth be told, I feel like if I made a video, it, it would just be the same shit that everyone else already said. She's literally the most hated person on YouTube now. Uh, and she posted several apologies, uh, none of which were typed by a real human. I, I don't think they were. Uh, she even said, oh, you, basically, I'm going on sabbatical. I'm going to log off and uh, touch grass for a while, which, of course, she didn't do because she's still uploading videos and she's still uploading on her uh, social media account. And she even tried to evade the demonetization that was given to her by YouTube by posting videos on her second edge account that was brought up to YouTube who demonetized that account. So I'm actually shocked that YouTube even did that. And and Jack has Jack Jack's films himself has yet to respond to any of this. So people are basically waiting on bated breath on what he's gonna say or what he's gonna do. Everybody keeps saying that he needs to sue her, you know, drag her ass to prison. I mean, wouldn't be the first time that she <laughs> that she's been in jail. So, but uh, yeah, that's basically my 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 quick and dirty thoughts on the sniper wolf situation. She is a cunt with a capital C. Uh, f uh, fuck YouTube for not straight up banning her for potentially putting Jack's film's family at risk uh, because. You know, everyone knows where he lives now. I mean, she's, even when she was like, I don't know how to dox, by the way, by the way, you could find his address on Google. All you have to do is look look for it. And uh, lo and behold, people did. <laughs> so, so now I don't know what he's gonna do now. She has potentially destroyed his life. All because she didn't like being made fun of over the internet. And YouTube, it, it's, even with all of this happening, still wouldn't just straight up, you know, nuke the channel, even though she committed a literal crime. <laughs> um, but anyway, so we'll just have to go from there. And I, I was going to make a video about the, the fucking pronouns in it guy, right? But I have been planning on doing a, wanting to do a video about people like him in gaming and, and just, or just like him in general. Because it also, you know, talks about Gamergate and stuff, but I might be making that into a live stream or, or a co-op video because I have a lot of st I have a lot of stuff to talk about as someone who was heavily involved in Gamergate back then, uh, and has decided, uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna, you know, push that off to the side because uh, I do not want to be associated with the people who ended up being. The biggest supporters of it and that's the long and short of it uh basically the fucking pronouns guy is a cunt anyway what i really want to talk about today was uh this the most recent drama with mr beast and and this is probably the most ridiculous stupid fucking drama i've seen yet uh basically uh rosanna pancino who is the creator of Nerdy Nerdy Nummies? Uh, three years ago, was part of a hide and seek tournament, and yeah, yeah, I know, <laughs> it sounds fucking stupid. Basically, it, it was for a chance to win a million dollars for charity and bragging rights. You know, Mr. Beast shoved all these YouTubers in a stadium, told them to go nuts, go hide and go seek, and uh, and. You know, I didn't watch the video. I, I don't want to fucking watch the video. I have no interest in Mr. Beast content. But this interests me because of the way, uh, because of the fallout after that. Now, keep in mind, this was three years ago. Three years ago, Rosanna, evidently what happened was, the way the video was edited, uh, even though Rosanna was uh, in third place, she made third place, 
it the video was edited to make it look like she didn't place at all or she didn't she didn't place in the top three um and uh and that that's pretty much the bit that's pretty much the controversy you know she was the only woman in the top three and it was and the video was edited to make her look like she wasn't that's 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 the crux of this stupid ass nothing burger uh, and now, three years after that, she's bitching on Twitter. In fact, uh, I have a video uh, queued up here, uh, courtesy of Tom Tom Turkey, Turkey Tom Tom Dark, whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, basically, and, and and this is the direct feed from her Twitter. Uh, I've been allowing others to treat me poorly in private for many years, and I'm fed up. I'm going to start standing for myself and fighting my boards. Mr. Beast, I'm going to stand over here. Mr. Beast lied and edited me out of the top three in Creator Games 3. Let's see. You know, blah, blah, blah. I did, uh, you know, I, 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 I am the hide and seek champion. I, I, I placed third in hide and seek. And uh, he, he lied about the way he had, he lied about the way he edited his videos, you know, and uh, I can't what he said in his video. You know, that, that's show business, baby, you know. See, honestly, it's just her running down what happened, and what you didn't see in the video. I quit. I declined. Let's see. But I was found. Let's see. Uh, I placed third. Quackney placed second. Zach placed first. This is what actually happened. Despite Jenny editing out the only female in the top three, I was proud of YHE. I followed the rules of the game, gave it my all, had fun, never get out. They can't take that away from me. But as Turkey Tom says in his video. Uh, you just did. You just took that away from yourself because now you, you make yourself look like a fucking jackass. And, and honestly, the thing that pisses me off about this the most, about this this nothing burger, a lot of is this next post that she has on her Instagram. This, uh, this is either Instagram or Twitter. Uh, this has all been overwhelming, a lot to process today. I was scared to tell my story for a long time because of how much hate... hate others have gotten in the past for speaking about their own experiences. In the hours since posting my story, I have received at least three other messages from female creators who have had similar experiences with Mr. Beast and those around him. That will be their story to tell if they choose to, but it is making me realize that I'm not alone as once as I thought I was. Also, unbeknownst to me, Quagney also told the same story previously in a live stream. He's also confused as why they edited him out of the top three. Thank you all for the immense support. Words cannot describe how empowering and healing the past 24 hours have been. I need to remind you people, this is all over a fucking hide-and-seek video. If I did not tell you, you know, the context between this post, you know, if, if this is all you knew about it, if this post is all you knew about it, you would think, and I'm going to say it, you would think she was talking about, like, Mr. Beast being a rapist or something. Like this, this is this is a fucking Me Too story, right here, and it is despicable. Like I'm actually angry that she's using like fucking survivor language to talk about <laughs> being edited out of a fucking hide and seek video. Like, are you shitting me? And and here's the thing. I followed Rosanna for years, not not literally, but like <laughs> that that came out fucking terrible but like you know what i i would hope to god you know what i mean like i watched her youtube channel for years like i i watched it start from a small from from a small like you know niche nerdy little baking show and and watch watch it as her channel grew and grew to the point where not only did she that did she publish her own cooking book but she was selling her own cooking ware right i actually have her fucking cookbook right here yeah, here it is nerdy nummies by Rosanna Pancino. And I'm gonna tell you, this is a really this is a fucking cool book. It's it's colorful. It it tells you basic recipes in the beginning and then tells you how to use those basic recipes to build up into more complex recipes. Like tells you how to make a basic white cake. So now you use that white cake to make, you know, like like, you know, the fucking moon or whatever, right? And then it teaches you how to make macaroons, how to make uh, unicorn cookies, make, make make this bomb ass castle cake, how to make basic ass brownies, uh, cake pops, a tre 
Like, there's all sorts of cool shit in here. And like I said, I've seen her from her humble beginnings to the, the fucking massive YouTube star that she is today. And it just baffles me that this is the hill that she's dying on. That, like, her being salty that she wasn't shown enough in a hide-and-seek championship video is what brings her to make this fucking Me Too post. Like, I'm actually super dis- I'm actually really disappointed in her. Because, like, fucking really? You're gonna get all this, this butthurt over hide-and-seek? Because... <laughs> And people are patting her ass and talking about how good of a, you know, how she did a good job and she needs to speak her mind. And I'm like, it's a fucking hide and seek video. She, she makes it sound like he's this, like, absolute sexually degenerate monster behind the scenes. And it's a fucking, and, and it's all because she's mad that she was edited out of a hide and seek video. Like, you have got to be kidding me. Like, again, she's using, and I'm going to say it, you may not agree with me, but I'm going to say it, she's using fucking survivor language here. Like, like she's using, like, sexual assault survivor language. Like, let's say, oh, this has been all the women to process, you know, you know, you know, other people have spoken out, uh, but, you know, but they need to tell their own stories. Uh, this has been an empowering and healing process. Like, are you fucking kidding me, Rosanna? Like, are, are you kidding me? Like, this... This is bullshit. Like, you're, you're doing this Me Too shit. Of, again, I have to reiterate over and over again. This is over a fucking hide-and-seek. This is over a fucking three-year-old hide-and-seek video that she chose not to come out for not, she she chose not to like she chose to stew for three years and finally it was like at the breaking point how how fucking dare he edit edit me out of the hide and seek video I'm gonna show him like are you fucking kidding me this is this is embarrassing you should be embarrassed you should be, you should be ashamed of yourself for doing this this is ridiculous you know, there, there, are plenty, there are plenty of things you can go over to Mr. Beast at for. You know, you know, poverty porn or charity porn, whatever it's called. You know, like, like there are, this isn't it. <laughs> it's like, you know, oh, he edited differently than how he said he was going to do. You know, welcome to fucking YouTube, baby. Welcome to the YouTube showbiz, you know, where nothing is real in front of the camera. You know, that that's just how it be sometimes. I got nothing else to add to this. Um, just that, uh, like, <laughs> you really should have uh, put this one on the back burner, you know, and, and just let it, just let it, you know, crumble to dust. Because this is nothing. This is nothing. And, and it's, it's shameful that you're going this route over a hide and seek video. My God, Rosanna. Fuck you. God. This has been Big L. Over and out.